Hey guys, I'm getting today's video started with a very small Walmart haul. One reason it's so small is because they canceled several things. One thing they said they canceled, but I actually got. Let's just say this is a confusing Walmart haul because I had just, it was just confusing. So let me flip this around and show you the few things, the very few things I got. Okay, so these are the things that I got, and I did have some more produce ordered, um, but this is the only thing that actually went through. It's actually more bananas than what I ordered, plus they said they had canceled this, so I don't even know if, I'm, if I paid for these or not. But anyway, I got some bananas, got some half and half because I was out of that, some milk. We only got one gallon this week. This Mrs. Richardson's caramel sauce, I got this because... Um, of that recipe that I told y'all I had tried that the um, the SD card was corrupted so I had I couldn't do the video it killed my inter not internet what am I saying it ruined my video it like deleted it yeah that's the word it deleted the video so anyways um, I got some more of this because Noah loved those things and he ate all of them. I got, I think, three out of them. I don't think Jeff even tried them. And the it called for um, almond butter for that recipe, so I'm going to try to make them regularly, like the way that it actually says, with the almond butter. And then I'm going to make some more with peanut butter, too, because he really liked the peanut butter. So, anyway, I'm going to be doing that. And I got some more peanut butter. I got this kind this time. Got some sliced monster. That's what Jeff's been eating mostly. Some semi-sweet chocolate chips. The mini ones, because that recipe calls for mini ones, and I didn't have any of those. So I just grabbed some of those since I was doing an order anyway. I got some tea, some chicken biscuits or chicken bites, and some um, hamburger buns. And I had ordered some more. Let me show you. These little things right here don't... Um, Y'all have to ignore my dirty dishes. These little scrubby things, I had ordered some more of those. They didn't have any of those, but they didn't cancel them. They put them as a delivery. And there's something else that they put as a delivery too. But anyway, let's go to the last thing that I have that I was going to show y'all before. I decided to show you the scrubbies. That I really like those scrubbies a lot. I've used them on nonstick whenever I had nonstick. They work good. I've used them on glass. I've used them on cast iron. I've used them on everything that I own um, that I wash by hand. So they work good. Just going to let you know that. And the last thing I got was this Infinity Pro Conair hair dryer with a diffuser. I have, I have a hair dryer and it works all right, but I used to have a diffuser and I don't know what happened to it. And I wanted a diffuser. Well, the diffusers were almost as much as this whole hair dryer and I think this one is smaller than mine that I have now which I like because maybe it'll be lighter weight it also has this concentrator thing too that little thing whatever it is but um there was an a bottle rebate and it was on sale if you bought it online you got it cheaper so I went ahead and got it plus I had um swag bucks rebate that I got too so really I got this for free because of all the stuff I do but anyway that's the very small very weird Walmart haul that I got today knew from the first time I saw ya you were not like the others a cool kind of melody You rattled my cage without warning Kept it up right till the morning A new kind of ecstasy You found a different side of me The one I'd like to be A different side of me, yeah You found a different side of me Like someone pretty neat different side of me yeah with you there are no stops 
signs Counting down till we take flight It's how you make me feel Yeah, yeah Let's call in sick and be lazy I'm all for doing what's crazy Cause you make it real, yeah Okay, guys, it is time for me to start supper, but it's not time to eat supper. I'm going to be making a homemade pasta sauce. I used to make this all the time years ago, but I have not made it in a long time because I always just buy it. And we do have plenty right now, but we also have a lot of these crushed tomatoes that I talked about in one of my in one of my pantry videos one of the stocking the pantry things anyway the re most recent one um we need to use some of these up because they're getting close to date because i've i bought them a while back so over here on this side i'm going to get part of it started and on the other side i'm going to get the other part started so i'm going to get that over there started first so i don't know why i didn't start over there but let's go ahead and move over there and get going i guess because the camera was already sitting on this counter. It's the only excuse I have, but let's go over there. Okay, so into this crock pot, I'm going to be, I thought there was something on it, but it's not. It's just the way it looks. Um, I'm gonna be putting two cans of these crushed tomatoes, and if I feel like I need more of something after I get going, I will get more of something. I'm gonna get a, what do you call those things? Uh, silicone spatula and clean that up some more get some more of that out of there i don't think i'm going to need any more of this tomato product but just saying all right and then a can of tomato sauce now this is a 14 no 15 ounce can and the other two cans were 28 ounces so let me grab one of the silicone skinny spatula things to get as much of this goodness out as i can and I'll use it to stir this as well. But um, I used to make this for years, which it is a little bit chunkier than my other, than, you know, a lot of the store-bought stuff. Selena doesn't love the chunky stuff, so I didn't really use it a lot after a while because she didn't really like it. She ate it for years, though, but I don't know. Um, then I quit doing it. I don't know why. I just did. Other than I just decided to swap it up. And I'm beginning to wonder if I maybe should have used a bigger crock pot. These are different kinds, different brands of tomato products. I don't care about it being different brands. It doesn't matter. Alright. 
So to this, I'm going to add, if I can open it up without making a mess. And after I add this, I'm going to refill these. I'm going to add a tablespoon of onion powder, which that wasn't quite a tablespoon. This one I can't seem to get open. I should have opened them before I got started. Let me, I don't think I have to refill this one anyway. I'm going to do like a half a tablespoon of garlic powder. Yeah, this one, I don't know if I'm going to refill it or not. About a quarter of a tea, not even a quarter of a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Just for a little kick. A half of a tablespoon of basil. keep hitting my um, spoon. A tablespoon of oregano and then two tablespoons of Italian seasoning which I will tell you what's in it in just a moment. Get all those start around in there. I am going to stir it some more, but for now, that'll do. I'll set that there for now. So let's go ahead and fill up these other things. And I'm going to put the lid on this for now. And this is on high. I'm just going to let it sit there. So the Italian seasoning, there's uh, oregano, marjoram, thyme, basil, rosemary, and sage in it. So, in case you ever want to make your own, those are the things you need, which I'm thinking about making my own. And this is the same container, so it's the same age, so I'm not worried about um, trying to make sure that, oh, this one's new. Let me see if I have another one already open. Um, anyway, I'm not worried about taking out the old and putting in the new because it's the same age of stuff. These are just to help me to do things a little bit easier. Actually, I think the last time I used oregano, I'm not going to do the garlic. It's full enough. Now, the red pepper flakes, I will do because Noah and Jeff love to sprinkle these things on all sorts of things. I'll just put a little bit more back in there. I think I had used all my oregano, so I'm going to go ahead and open this. Hopefully, I'm not making a mistake. I don't think I am. Alright. Now, all these are refilled, so um, when I need them, they'll be done. So, let's move over to the other side and get the other part done okay so i've already started this a little bit because i messed up filming so all i've done was cut this little bit of bell pepper a little tiny tiny bit anyways doesn't matter i should have just done this with the whole side instead of doing what doing what i just did but whatever it's fine um i've got a pan here heating up I'm about to, as soon as it gets to temperature, put some ground beef in it, and I'm going to fry that up, and then I'm going to put it into the sauce, and then after that, I'm going to put the onion in, and then put the garlic in to this pan right here, and cook them up some after I cut them up, of course, and um, then I'll put them in the sauce. Anyway, I'm going to cook the things and put them in the sauce as I go. But the only reason I am cooking these things a little bit ahead is to get them a little bit, just to give me a little boost, I guess, is what you'd call it. I don't know what you'd call it, honestly. But to get me a little bit ahead of time, because I should have started this earlier, but I didn't. Because I was actually going to use jarred sauce, but then I thought, well, I've got a bell pepper, I've got everything else I want to do it this way.
So I decided I'd do it this way. I think that might be hot enough that I can put the ground beef in. I might have picked too small of a pan, but I'm not sure. Maybe I didn't. I don't think I did. up a little bit. Add a little bit of salt and pepper to this. This is the only time I'm going to add any salt and pepper to this whole thing other than whenever I salt my noodles. salt and pepper on it. I should just use my salt pepper mix, but I'm not going to do that this time. My hand was still a little bit wet, I guess. Because that salt would stay on my fingers. Let's do a little pepper. I guess I should do like those chefs do and always have me a hand towel wrapped around my neck to wipe things like that, but I just kind of think that's dirty to myself. I don't know. Like, I've seen where they will touch raw meat and do it, though. But seasonings wouldn't be a bad thing. Or something like that. I don't know. Maybe I should just wear an apron, which is what they're for. Actually, they're to protect your clothes, but whatever. Let's not talk about that anymore. I'm going to let this get cooked up. I might have to turn it up just a tiny bit, but I don't want to turn it up too much because I don't want it to get done too fast like I don't want it to go too fast anyways let me go ahead and be cutting this up which I didn't know I didn't uh, get all these seeds out I thought I had got them all all right I'm not gonna have these in big pieces just about that size of pieces Not real big, but not too small either. I don't want them to just cook away completely. I want you to know they're there. Have a little chunk to them. I have done like a piece like that before. But whenever I was doing a big pot of this, I'm cutting the other ones a little bit more again too. Oh well. I'm not doing things very well today. Everything is a little bit scatterbrained, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I should have cut this in half before I got started with cutting it this way. Now I'm going to have to cut all these again. That one's got a little spot on it I don't like. onions about the same but the garlic I don't know I'm, I'm tempted to just slice it I kind of want to just slice it but then I kind of want to mince it I don't know what I want to do I've done both and I can't remember if it made a difference I don't think it does really make a difference it's just one less thing I have to wash though which does make a difference some of this peeling off. I'll be right back. Okay, I got the onion peeled and got it going and I got me a few garlic cloves. got four. I think it's four. Yeah, that one's pretty big, but I got some garlic cloves here that I'm just gonna crack and peel. 
is the way I do my garlic. Other people may have other ways to do it. I know other people have other ways to do it. Not me. But I know they do. But this is the way I always do it. So that I can get it off pretty easily. Now if I wanted it to look perfect and not have a crack or something in it like this, which you may not be able to even see that crack, but it's got a little crack right there. If I wanted to not have that crack, I would not do it that way. But I'm going to chop it up anyway so it doesn't matter in this situation. It also helps to go ahead and cut the little end off, but I didn't do that this time. I should have, but I didn't. these two off. It makes it a little bit easier like after you crack it to get it open or before either way. I'm thinking I want like little slices or dices. A little bit bigger than minced garlic. That's just what I'm thinking today. I don't know. I do have more garlic if I need it. But I don't think I will because I did use garlic powder. Okay. I think I'm just going to do some. Not super thin, but not super thick slices of this. as thin as they could be anyway. I am not going to risk cutting myself to try to get them thinner though because that would be what I would have to do. This one done. I've got to stir this beef again. I don't think I've ever done this on here before. This recipe, which I really don't have a recipe. Recipe. It's just I've never actually measured my stuff very much like the seasonings because I, I don't ever have a certain amount that I'm cooking like sometimes I cook a big huge pot which I don't have a big huge pot anymore that I, I don't think I do anyway um, I used to though I need to get me another stock pot I mean I do have my pressure canner that I could use but I don't have anything else. Okay. Alright, all that's cut up. And I do want this very well cooked, this beef, because um, I just don't like ground beef not cooked really well. You could add mushrooms or olives or something like that to this, but I I have added mushrooms, but I'm not going to today. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up and move y'all a little bit closer. You can see a little bit more about what's going on, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is fully cooked now, so I'm going to go ahead and transfer this meat to the um, crock pot with the other, but I wanted to tell y'all that before I did it. So that I could show you how that I like for this to be cooked. Like that. Really well done. 
so I'll be right back. Okay, to this I am going to add a little bit of olive oil because there was not much oil in that meat. There's a fuzz. And olive oil is good in this stuff anyway. And I did cover this because I have one of those monsters in the house again. There's a fly, always a fly. So I'm going to put the onion in and get it going. And I want it to where it's just like, just translucent, which will not take long um, because my pan is hot and, you know, it is going to cook some more in the crock pot, so I'm not worried about it being like caramelized or anything, but you could have it caramelized and have like just a really yummy caramelized pasta sauce caramelized onion pasta sauce. That's what it would be actually. But once I get these translucent to the point where I want them, I'm going to throw the garlic in for just a couple minutes just to get it a little bit cooked. I don't want it overdone because it can get bitter. So just a little bit. In your house smells delicious get tortured which some people don't like these smells I don't know why but some people will think that the food smells whenever you're cooking are bad or you know offensive or whatever now fish I can understand that certain kinds but something like onions and peppers and stuff it's just delicious as long as you're not burning it And as I've said before, I could m just eat onions that are cooked. It's just so good. But I'm really just trying to give these things a head start. And it will build their flavor. Because um, I don't want to have it in the crock pot as long as I have had before. I have done it for like eight hours. I'm going to do this for like three or so. Maybe four at the most. It's not going to be all day long, but you could, you could do that. Right, these are getting to about the point where I wanted to be to add the garlic. And you do have to stir them so they don't get burnt. I might stir a little bit more than what people have to. That's just what I do. I don't know why. I keep it moving in the pan. You know, they used to, on the infomercial, they had this thing that would go round and round in the bottom of your pan. I always wondered if it would work. Knowing me, I'd still stir it. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and throw my garlic in. another layer of flavor Do not want that garlic to get bitter, so I'm not going to cook it much in this. Just a little. I don't know if this is an authentic way to cook this. Um, I had a friend years ago that taught me how to cook it the way her grandmother did. And I couldn't remember everything she said. She never wrote it down for me, so I kind of just went from there. 
pot. I'm gonna put this into the pan or into the crock pot. Okay, just a little bit more olive oil again because I do not want the peppers to get stuck. And I'm gonna throw those in. Okay, so I'm gonna cook these until they're really like, not super soft, but soft, kind of. Maybe a little bit bit of brown, a little blistering or whatever on the um, skin. But I do want these cooked good or well, whatever the words might be. I want them yummy, that's what I want. And this was a pretty small bell pepper. If I was using a big one, I'd use probably half of one for the amount that I have today, which actually, myself, I just like the bell pepper flavor. I could do without the actual bell pepper being in there. And uh, most of the time, I'll give Jeff my peppers if he's home, but I don't always. Sometimes I just go ahead and eat them. They are good for you, and they are tasty. Turn this down just a little bit. It's a little bit higher than what I want because it's blistering before it's softening much. Maybe. I don't know. I could be wrong. It might be doing just like I want it to. have not, I don't know if I said this or not, but I have not stirred any of the meat or onions or anything in that, like that into the sauce yet. I'm going to do that all at once so I can use this same spoon and not have tomato in this because I don't want to, I just don't want to do that. I don't know. It wouldn't hurt anything, but I just don't want to for some reason. Why am I always stirring? I don't know. Do y'all know? Do y'all do that? Is it a thing that you do? These are turning a little bit brown. Let me see if I can get y'all a little bit closer. Maybe a little bit. I don't know if that's better or not. These are browning up some. And you can see that the skins are blistering. And I want them softening up. They're not going to be completely cooked, but partially cooked is what we're doing. And I think they're just about to the point where I want them to be. So I'm going to move the camera over to the other side. So whenever I put these in, I can show you what I'm doing next, which is not much. Okay, so this is what it looks like right now. It's gotten hot in there, which is what I want. And I don't think there's going to be any way that I could add any more sauce. I mean, I probably could add some just tomato sauce to it. But I don't think we're going to need anything else anyway. Put that over there. And now I'm just going to stir this all together. All the tomatoes and the onion and the beef and garlic peppers all those yummy seasonings oh it smells so good it smells like a yummy pasta sauce you could also use it for um doing pizza too if you wanted to but i'm just gonna let it sit here and cook for just a few hours just like this and I'll be back at some point once this is done I'm not going to show you this spaghetti noodles because it's just spaghetti noodles it's not a big deal and the garlic bread we're going to have tonight is some of that that I made ahead and froze so now I'm going to clean up these little bit of utensils that I have not the iron skillet yet it's too hot 
and I'm gonna clean those things up and I'll be back I don't know if I'm gonna do anything before I finish supper or what because I don't know what else I have to do today I don't have much to do okay so here is the sauce and it's been simmering for a while this little pot I think is the perfect size I got know what a taste is he said it was perfect it was just how it needed to be um, I didn't taste it just because uh, I don't know why I didn't taste it I always like to have somebody else's opinion but I'm gonna start around a little bit and I might taste it too then which I know how it's supposed to taste but this is the way it looks with all that um, all the vegetables and everything and you could do this and not put the hamburger meat not put the ground beef in it and just have it like a sauce without ground beef and then maybe you know throw you some meatballs in there that have already been cooked do that a little bit before time to eat so they can heat through and more you know get nice and warm and yummy you could do that or you could just have your meatballs and not um put them in here just have them cooked and um pour the uh sauce over the noodles and stuff i can't think because i'm just thinking about this and i don't know my my i'm not thinking well right now <laughs> anyway i'll talk to you a little bit about that in a few minutes but that is the way that looks and here let me see i'm gonna get a little bit and taste it here, let me put that there. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to get a little bit and taste it. I'll let that cool off. It tastes good. It tastes really good. Um... I'm not thinking it so well right now because uh, my sciatic nerve has been acting up again and I'm in a little bit of pain but I'm not taking any kind of medication unless I absolutely have to I'm okay it's not terrible today but um, there have been days that it's been worse and actually uh, Amy has noticed that I was moving a little slower in my videos it's been going on for a few weeks so anyway it's just something that happens with me it's fine i'll be fine i just have to let it run its course and if it does get worse and stays i know when i need to go is what i'm trying to say but i'm trying to do meals lately that will last a couple days or something like that and like this sauce it will work for tonight's spaghetti but we could have it again tomorrow night with on pizza or if I decided to do that or I could do like a pasta bake or I could do meatball subs if I had meatballs or I could just do this and do like if I went out and got some salami and stuff do like an Italian sub I'd have to get more than that I'm just trying to give you ideas of things you could do with this sauce you do lots of things with this sauce but it's really good and if you find that it's a little too acidic, you can put a tablespoon or so of sugar in it. But I don't normally, but you can if you want to. Just to break up the acidity a little bit. Because it does have a lot of tomato in it. And that does cause a lot of us heartburn after we get a certain age, it seems. But that's going to be a supper. Uh, I have not cooked the noodles yet, but I did want to go ahead and show you the pasta or the sauce I can't think these are the noodles I'm gonna use I'll be cooking those up in a little bit but Noah's not ready to eat yet so I'm not gonna do it yet I'm not ready to eat yet either so it'll be a little while so I'm just gonna leave this on let it keep going because you can let it simmer like I said for like eight hours or something like that it's been a little while since I let it start um, two or three hours I don't know how long anymore but anyway, I'm going to go sit down and have a chat with y'all. Okay, so I wanted to sit down and chat with you guys for a little bit. And the reason why 
is yes I have been having back issues you know that for years I've had back issues I have tweaked my sciatic nerve somehow recently I am moving slower I am not doing all the things like I was we've already talked about all that that is not why I wanted to chat with you I wanted to chat with you to give you some ideas of things I'm doing so that I don't feel horrible because I didn't do everything. Um, one of the things I started doing is I would sit down at night and instead of having a to-do list, I would write down the things I did do. Whether it was feed the cat, feed the dogs, water the animals, whatever animals. Um, whether it was a brush your teeth, brush my hair, which I didn't write those things down, but there's still things, you know, I do. <laughs> but you could count these things. These are, I'm just going to name off some things you could count in the done list. Uh, make breakfast, whether you have to cook it or not. It doesn't matter. You still got to do something. It's better than grabbing a donut. You know what I'm saying? Which I don't have donuts around the house. But sometimes I wish I did. But then I'm glad I don't. <laughs> but anyway, let me not get off track too much because I really want to encourage you guys today. Because... I have found that it's encouraging me to do this, but if you declutter a small area, even if it's just a 12 by 12, like 12 inch by 12 inch, a one foot square in your home, if you declutter that, count it. If you wash dishes, if you wash clothes, if you fold clothes, if you put away dishes, if you clean the bathroom, if you mop, sweep, vacuum, if you wash your curtains, if you, I do need to wash my shower curtains, but um, if you do anything, anything at all that you do throughout the day to take care of yourself, another human being, a pet, or farm animals, which ours are still pets, even though they're not, I mean, they're chickens. Anyways, um, if you do that, I'm getting off track, or if you... Take, do something to take care of your home, your car, even if that taking care of your home or car is sitting down and paying bills, because that is something I did today. If it is checking your bank account, making sure that things went through properly, because that's something I did today. If it is uh, making a plan of, like an action plan of things that you want to do, like a cleaning list or a shopping list or you go pick up groceries or you buy gro go you know get the groceries delivered or if you actually go in and shop like I did grocery pickup today if you put away the groceries no matter what it is I want you to write down every little thing you do every day for a week and I want you to see all the things you actually are doing that you don't realize you are doing to take care of yourself. And I'm saying this to you because a person with chronic illnesses like I have sometimes can feel bad because they didn't do everything that they think they should do. Now, I have a list of things that I have to do for my home to make me feel like it's okay that I'm not a terrible homemaker. I have to make sure my kitchen is clean. That means dishes and all those things. Now, if the floors are not perfect, I don't worry about that as much as I used to. But I have to make sure my dishes are clean. My counters are cleaned off. And my sink is hopefully empty by the time I go to bed. Sometimes that doesn't always happen because sometimes other people use things and they don't wash them. And that's fine. That's one of my things that I have to do. I have to make sure my laundry is washed, dried, and put away at least three times a week. I have to make sure my bathroom is clean. I have to make sure my bed is made. I have to make sure that you can walk through my home without falling over things, tripping over things, which really, that hasn't ever been an issue 
other than when the kids were little and there were toys but that was not a big deal either because we just let our kids have their toys wherever we didn't care because we wanted to be kids uh, we did make them clean them up at times whenever it got too much but most of the time we didn't worry about it but I have a list of things that I have to do to make me feel better as a homemaker does that mean my house is perfect no it absolutely is not perfect not in any shape form or fashion it is not a showroom it is not like if you come to my house just be ready you're gonna see some piles you're gonna see some this that or the other thing but my house hopefully won't stink hopefully it won't be nasty in the kitchen or bathroom <laughs> um, and you'll have a clean bed <laughs> if you come stay the night um, I don't worry as much as I used to or I don't like I don't feel bad as much as I used to about there being some things out of place about some things not being the way I want it to be because I'm working towards getting those things that way now I do have more messes right now in my home because we're decluttering because right now we have a probably a truckload maybe not quite a truckload but we have a lot of things that we need to go ahead and take away um, but we haven't had time yet but just find some things just make a small list that would make you feel like okay this is fine everybody was fed all week the, the kitchen was clean the bathroom was clean they all had clean clothes on their backs I'm okay they have somewhere to sit they have somewhere to sleep that's clean they have plenty of space to walk and things like that make yourself a list of things that you definitely want to get done throughout the week and then just do those and if you just do those instead of procrastinating you'll feel better about yourself because the way I used to do things is I would just put it off because I didn't get it done and then pile up more and more and more not usually dishes but with other things like the laundry I'd be like well I didn't do them today I'll just do it tomorrow and I didn't do it today I'll just do it tomorrow and then I end up with five or six loads of clothes that I needed to do in one day and people didn't have socks and underwear <laughs> and it was irritating and then I just made a system for myself so I want to I don't have my system written down but I think that I will possibly tonight I will possibly go ahead and write my system down or get my laptop out and sit on the couch while I'm not doing anything else and I will make up a little like a template or something for the week Monday through Sunday or Sunday through uh, Saturday is probably the way I'll do it and I'll fix it to where that it, I can share it with you guys if you want and if I possibly can well no I can do that anyway there's no possibly can thing to it I will make one that you can just print out and you can add whatever you want and then I'll have one that's the way mine is and you'll find that if you just do the things like every week Monday Wednesday Friday laundry those that's the days that gets done that they get washed and dried it may not get folded on Monday Wednesday and Friday but that's the way it gets that's the day it gets washed and dried now normally what happens on Monday I will wash Tuesday I will fold Wednesday I will wash Thursday I will fold or possibly go ahead and fold on Wednesday because it's usually only one load Friday I will go ahead and wash and fold and put like sheets and towels and stuff so it'll just be put back um, that's the way I normally do it okay every day I try to make sure that the kitchen is clean before I go to bed um, every couple few days I will try to vacuum everywhere 
I don't mop as much as I should or as much as I used to. We all know that because of my back. But I try to get it done at least once a week. Um, the kitchen deep clean is about every two weeks, sometimes three weeks. But that means, when I say deep clean, that means take everything off the counters, wipe them all down, wipe down the back back splash, and everything. And the, the fronts of the cabinets, the doors, and all that stuff. Now, that's deep cleaning. Every day, I wipe down the counters and all that stuff. And if I see something on a door, I wipe it off too. Because I'm scared of stains. <laughs> um, let's see, what else do I do? Every week, I clean the bathrooms. Well, I clean one. Noah's in charge of the other one. Uh, let's see. What else do I do that I, I, I it's a definite going to do thing every week? I'm trying to think. Whoever um, is the last one out of bed makes the bed. Sometimes Jeff doesn't do it, so I do it. <laughs> I try to at least once a week to declutter my desk because it's always a mess. It's just a dropping spot for most everything but right now it's okay it's not terrible it, there's a little pile that I need to go through it's mostly like cookbooks and stuff uh, let's see what else do I do every week that I try to make sure that I get done I can't think right now even though well I fill all the things I make sure all the seasonings are filled up enough that I have enough throughout the week I make sure my coffee pods are filled up enough that I have enough for at least the week because Jeff and Noah like they only drink coffee really in the winter time or when it's cold so I'm the only one that drinks coffee otherwise so I just make sure I have enough for me and if they want some I always have extra pods so they can have some if they want it um, so that I make sure all the flour and the sugar and all that stuff is filled up the first of the week. I make sure my vitamins and my medicine are filled up the first of the week because I have them in the little weekly things. Uh, let's see. What else do I do to make my life easier? I meal prep when it's needed. I don't really do it all the time because sometimes when I've meal prepped, we didn't use it and it got wasted and I was tired of the waste. And usually meal prepping is so you don't waste. But I do meal prep for freezer meals sometimes. Like I'll make two instead of one. Or I'll go ahead and make up a bunch of garlic bread and freeze that. Or something like that. That's just to save money and time. Uh, what else do I do? The dogs get their baths. I don't really do that. Jeff and Noah do it mostly. I do sometimes, but not most of the time. But I'm trying to think of the things that I actually do every week, no matter what. Whether I am having a bad week or not, I do them. And the way it is now with my body, I know my limits. So I know that on some days I may not be able to do it. So if I can't, let's just say on Monday I got up and I couldn't walk very well because of my back or whatever Tuesday if I get up and I'm okay and I can walk around fine I do my chores on Tuesday but I wouldn't feel bad on Monday for not doing them I would make sure I got them done and I know a lot of times we are our worst critic we are the ones who are gonna beat ourselves up more than anybody else um, we are the ones that go, are going to be the meanest to ourselves about anything that we don't do. And I want us to stop that. I want us to be nice to ourselves because if we push too much, like if I push too much with my sciatic nerve the way it is right now, I know that for like three or four days I will be down instead of just that one if that makes sense so we need to be careful with our bodies we need this is the only one we get we get one body and I've already had enough surgeries I don't want any more I, I want to try to avoid that you know what I'm saying so I'm not saying I won't ever have another surgery but I just I'm trying to baby myself I, I don't know if any of this has made sense I hope it has I, I'm trying to say things but I didn't write anything down 
but we need to encourage one another. We need to encourage ourselves. And I'm going to make that list up. I'm going to figure out something, do a template, a PDF so you can print it or something, just so maybe you guys can see that. You will not see that tomorrow because tomorrow you will be seeing uh, the fold and study. That's Thursday. Friday is when I hope that I will have that ready for you guys. So look for that. If not, it'll be ready hopefully before too long. I just want to get things done. Also, another thing I do, which my, my, it's fixing to stop. So let me stop now and I'll be right back like in a second. Okay. So I knew it was going to stop recording at 16 something. So I just decided to go ahead and head it off at the pass as they say. But what was I saying? Oh no. Oh, another thing I do is I menu plan. Now, just because I don't food prep does not mean I can't menu plan. I still menu plan, which I do food prep, but it's more like freezer prep. Like, I go ahead and I have, like, I know what I'm going to make with most of the ground beef that I have in the freezer. I already know what I'm going to do with certain things. So it is food prepping, but it's not the same type of food prepping as you see a lot of people do where they make their meals or they make part of their meals before. Or they get, well, now I do sometimes go ahead and wash fruits and stuff, but y'all lately, the kinds of fruits that are out on the counter, even if I did wash it, I'd wash it again because we have had the worst flies. And Jeff has talked about it many times recently that everybody he talks to has had the worst fly problem in years this year. <laughs> so it's not me, <laughs> it's everybody. Um, and I'm not the only one that I have seen the little fly strips around their house or they've talked about them or something. <laughs> That's definitely been a subject people have talked about. Um, but yeah, I want to encourage you to don't push yourself too far. Make yourself a done list just to see what all you have done. And, and the reason why I say that is because sometimes we forget everything we do. We forget how much we have done. And we will surprise ourselves once we look at that list and we're like, wow, I did a lot more than I thought because I've done that before. But make yourself a done list. Maybe you watered the plants. Maybe you uh, went out to the garden and picked the produce. Our garden's not doing so good. But anyway, uh, yeah, there's lots of things that you can put on that done list. And there's lots of things you can do on a, like you can make yourself a weekly schedule, but be flexible with yourself. Because I know a lot of you that watch me have chronic illnesses. And it's not easy. It's not easy to have an illness and push yourself so far that you injure yourself and then you can't do anything at all. Just think about it this way. If I push myself too far... And injure myself and I'm down for three or four days that's a whole lot less than I can get done and even if you have to take breaks like like I've told y'all when I'm vacuuming sometimes I have to take a break I have to sit down for a few minutes that's okay there's no time limit and I know some of you work outside of the home plus you do the things in the home or you have little kids and you're doing the things in the home or you have elderly parents or you have something that you're doing plus your home stuff. Don't beat yourself up because it's not all perfect. Homes that are lived in are not perfect. Homes that are lived in are not going to look like a showroom floor. Because if they do look like that, they're not fun homes. They're not happy homes in most situations. There are some that can have it that way. Most of the time they're minimalist, which y'all know I'm not. I mean... Do you see all the things? <laughs> that is something I don't think I could ever be. But most homes that look perfect all the time, and I'm not talking about just sometimes. I'm talking about all time, all the time. And I'm not talking about just the things you can see. I'm talking about their pantries look perfect. Their closets look perfect. Their everything looks perfect. If they live alone, it's just them and one other person and everything works out great usually if you have kids your house is not great 
you know, it's not gonna be perfect most of the time. Or you are driving yourself so crazy. I mean, I just don't, I've never seen a perfect home. I mean, I do have a sister who you can go in her house and it always looks nice and it always has, but there are times whenever you go to her house and it wasn't because she was in the middle of doing laundry, because she was doing this, that, and I'm saying your house can look tidy, but it's never going to be perfect. There's always going to be dust. There's always going to be some kind of crumb or some kind of something that's on your floor. There's always going to be something. So don't worry too much if it's not excellent. Because you're excellent and my excellent may not mean the same thing. I may go in your house and think it's absolutely fabulous, fabulous, and you might think it's absolutely terrible. It's all in the eye of the beholder, as they say. But I think I've talked too long. I think I've talked enough. I hope that I've encouraged you. I hope I haven't made you think this woman's a wackadoo. I mean, I don't care if you think I'm a wackadoo. I am a bit of a wackadoo. But <laughs> I just want to encourage you to be okay with what you can do. Be okay with what you have done. And give yourself a break. Don't beat yourself up not fine and I guess I'm gonna go because I've talked so much and I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today I do appreciate it I'm not saying my videos are gonna change because they haven't really I mean they have but they haven't but they've never been the same you know if you would like to do a cleaning challenge again sometime before November let me know so I can get it ready to go September or October, one or the other. One day, or one month we have less days than the other. Um, but if you want me to do that and try to get that together, let me know. And I really think that will be a good idea because I, I need to vacuum my ceiling. I just said that. I did. You want to know why I need to vacuum my ceiling? Because popcorn ceilings somehow gets these little dust balls. That's the only way I figured out how to do it. But is it easy to vacuum my ceiling? No. I always have to have help. So, those types of things. Vacuuming the ceiling. Doing the baseboards. Doing something. I don't know. I'll figure out a whole list if you let me know if you want to do it or not. And we'll do it together. But, today is, what is today? The fifth, the, what is, the, the 14th. So, I don't have a lot of time <laughs> if you want to do it. So, anyways, I'm going to go. I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I know I'll see you tomorrow because I've already recorded that Bible study. Um, but, anyway, I'll see you tomorrow for sure. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, go ahead and do all the YouTube things. I do not have a PDF for that sauce. If you would like one, I can make one. But I don't see any reason to right now unless you just, you know, want it. It's just basil, Italian seasoning, garlic, onion, red pepper flakes. Did I put anything else in it? There was something else. Oregano. Salt and pepper. And it's according to how much tomato sauce and tomato crushed tomatoes you put in it. You can actually put diced tomatoes in it. Anyway, let me just stop talking. I can't stop talking. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like my channel, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell if you would like to be notified if you haven't done those things. Share with a friend if you think somebody would want to watch all the crazy that I have coming. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing because I do really want to know that. And remember, don't take any wooden nickels and be sweet.